back to Showbiz This Month, the entertainment news journal of the air. Time now for a look at some of the famous faces making entertainment news. Here's CNN's Dennis Michael with this month's Showbits. Work's begun on the sequel to Weekend at Bernie's, now being called Bernie's Back. The original comedy starred Jonathan Silverman, Andrew McCarthy, and Terry Kaiser as Bernie, who spends most of the movie dead. The sequel stars Jonathan Silverman, Andrew McCarthy, and Terry Kaiser as Bernie, whose character is still dead. Weekend at Bernie's 2, the sequel to the 1989 international hit, has been making news ever since it started shooting in the Virgin Islands this past March. In addition to CNN, Entertainment Tonight, MTV, E! The Entertainment Network, and HBO have all sent crews to cover the movie excitement. The film reunites many of the people who contributed to the success of the first weekend at Bernie's, which debuted in the summer of 1989 and has developed a huge cult following in theaters and later on pay cable and video. Returning for the sequel are Andrew McCarthy, Jonathan Silverman, and Terry Kaiser, who continues in the role of the deceased insurance embezzler Bernie Lomax. Barry Bostwick joins the cast as investigator Arthur Hummel. Victor Dre once again produces, this time with Joseph Perez. The executive producer is Angelo Stella, head of our team. Writer-director Bobby Klain, who wrote the first Bernie's, returns to write and direct the $16 million sequel. In the new film, the story picks up on the day after the original film ended. Junior insurance executives Richard Parker and Larry Wilson, now fired and suspected of embezzlement themselves, are once again involved with Bernie Lomax. Everyone is hunting for a fortune in stolen insurance money buried somewhere in the Virgin Islands. <laughs> okay, Filming now. on the island of St. Thomas allowed the production to take advantage of many local landmarks and vistas, including the gorgeous Megan's Bay, which is recognized as being one of the ten most beautiful beaches in the world. The historic waterfront district, where a colorful parade was staged. Beautiful Smith Bay, where a festive conga line took place at a beach resort. Downtown Charlotte Amalia, St. Thomas's main city, where body snatching was the norm, and many other locations. Audiences will be surprised and delighted by the antics of the cast, including Terry Kaiser's Bernie character, who is amazingly animated for a man who's dead. But thanks to a mysterious island ritual, he begins to move to the island beat. Another plus will be the rhythmic island music, which will pepper the soundtrack with local tunes. The Bernie theme was played by the Rising Stars, a local steel drum band, consisting of over a hundred players. Insiders are already comparing the Bernie's theme to the Pink Panther's famous signature. So as the sun sets on another gorgeous island day, international distributors can be assured that spending another weekend at Bernie's will be a weekend to remember. And from the cast and crew, a very special greeting. Is it, is it Khan? It's Khan. Khan? Khan. The Khan Film Festival. How you doing, guys? Shortly, all yeah. right? <laughs>